Smoke. Uh, what up, what up? This is your boy, Twenty CEO, Second Apparel, the world's number one inspiration, the motivation, urban streetwear brand. Nina Johnson, CEO, of Sacred Life Coaching. Welcome to Sacred Society Sunday episode. I have no idea. Me either. That's why I started thinking about it. We forgot to check what episode we were on. Yeah. But I think it's like 20, 24? 20 something. About uh, 23. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's 24. 24. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> but you know what? Nobody's there yet, so we can wait a few minutes and find out. I can look. And I can put it in the title. Whoop! Okay. No, where's all our people's at? No. Uh oh, I know we can <laughs> cough too. Yes. And we've been gone for a while. For what? Two or three weeks? Four weeks? A couple weeks. Do we you want? Yeah. We're gone for a couple of weeks. And reason being is we've been sick. <laughs> we got sick. And now we we're, sick. we're cured, okay? But occasionally when we take a deep breath. We get a cough. We get a cough. So yes, um, we were sick, but we we're better. Yes. Much better. So that's why we haven't been here for the past couple, three. Couple weeks. It's been a couple weeks. weeks. Couple weeks. No, it's not been four weeks. It's been a couple weeks. It's been at least three. Because mm. you were sick one, I was sick one. You were sick another. first. See, he got sick first. And he gave it to me. He takes this till death to his part to really <laughs> seriously. Yeah, hey, that's what the word said. Uh, but hallelujah, the kids are well. We are well. So, and um, yeah, episode 25. Tw wow. So we're on episode 25. Episode 25. 25. Yeah. So we've been away. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. We've been away because we were recuperating. Listen, you didn't want to see us. No. Oh. You didn't want to hear us. No. So, um, was... We were sick. Yeah. yeah, but so we're, we're better now. We're, back, we're better. Yeah. We're, back. we're better. So what are we talking about today? I don't know what the title was. <laughs> do you know your enemy? Yes, do you know your enemy? See, we, look, <coughs> we still try to get together. <coughs> do you know your enemies? Do you, do you know, know your enemies? enemies? Do you know your enemies? So let's talk about that. So most people would think their enemies are our enemy that you mm -hmm. did something to, or somebody did something to you, somebody you have a grudge against, somebody your ox, uh, whoever. Mm -hmm. you should yeah. So a lot of times we think our enemies are um, circumstances, or we think it's like you know most believers think okay, my enemy is the devil, mm -hmm. the world, the flesh, but there is a greater and more a lethal greater enemy. 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 And do you know who that enemy is? Tell him. You go ahead, tell him. It's your inner me. That's right. So, you your know. Your inner me is your enemy. And I did a post about that today. And so sometimes it's just like our thoughts can jack us up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. How we think about things, our pers uh, perception, perception, perception. Of things, our perspective of things. So some of you guys are stuck and maybe even tired and you haven't been able to overcome. But the reason why you're not overcoming is because the, your enemy is not a circumstance. It's not a habit that you need to develop. It is a mindset that or, needs to, like there's some, there's some things in your thinking, that's, thinking, actually, thinking. that's actually sabotaging your overcoming. Right. Now we were reading, I can't remember what book it was, was it Judges? Judges. Uh, yeah. And here you go, we've got, we've got Israel again, they're going in, they still haven't conquered their giants. Nope. They still haven't conquered their giants. And the reason why they haven't conquered their giants is not because they're a, they're, they're Unable, it's because of their thinking. Their thought process. Uh, and so, and then we see that they never fully subdue and take dominion. Once they went there and they saw it, they already said in their mind that they were defeated. Exactly. <laughs> or they didn't fully obey the word of, yeah. So, you know, we see them like starting out to overcome and then they stop. Yeah. Now, how many of you, it's, this is a great, great topic right now because we're getting ready to go into 2021. How many of you have started on something? And then you just stop. Like you just settle. Or you, you start thinking crazy about the situation yeah. and the thing. And you're yeah. like, man, you know what? If I do this right now, this will happen. And, and all these thoughts, you just pull They're back lies. from it. They're lies. They're lies. They're, there's thoughts that sabotage. Yeah. So, you know, we'll use weight loss because it's a big one. A lot of times people say, okay, I want to lose I want. I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight, and they, they're going strong. They're going hard, but somehow along along that course, they're just like they just they 
they start out believing and then they're like, well, man, I'm just too fat. I just, I'm never going to be able to do this. It's too hard. I love food too much. That's a lie. Or you start yes. out on it and you're doing good first couple of days and you get some fried chicken and some Yeah. Or you believe the lie that you can eat fried chicken like, and not Yeah. You can I done messed up now, so there ain't no yeah. need for me to keep doing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your thinking just jacked yeah. you up. Yeah. So this is the, this is what we want to encourage you guys. Listen. Is that a jab you can eat chicken and think you can still do it? Yeah. Sometimes you don't even treat yourself. Yeah, see. And that's the other mindset is where you think <laughs> that you can sleep with your enemy uh, and not catch a disease, okay? Yeah. It, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Don't sleep with your enemy. And your enemy is, so there's gotta be a wrestling match. You gotta right. wrestle yourself you in to. order to overcome. And so a lot of times, there, all of you that are listening right now, Yah has promises for you. He has promises yeah. for us, okay? But sometimes we can't step over to that promised land. A lot, most of the time. We can't step over to the promised land without a battle. Mm -hmm. And the greatest battle is not those giants over there. No. Or those demons or those circumstances. The greatest that challenge is going to be getting through the worst part of you. Right. The worst part of you. The lazy part. The excuse part. Um, the uh, the uh, fearful part, yep. um, the unbelieving part. So we sometimes and we have to wrestle. Part. Yes, sometimes we have to wrestle yeah. ourselves in order. Process. Yeah, we have to kill those things in order to subdue and take the promises. So our greatest enemy sometimes, most often, is not listen. There's nothing that the devil can do to us because we have the blood of the lamb. Right. We've been given the power and the authority. There's no devil in hell that can keep us from the promises that, that God has for us. Right. So if you're not, if you don't have those promises, then what's standing between you and those promises, 10 to 1, is you. Yeah. Okay? And listen, be honest with yourself. Like, is there a lie that I'm believing? Like, Twink and I were just talking the other day, and you're like, you're like, oh, I can't do this as I'm like, that's a lot. Yeah. And, and that's what, and, and yeah. you're like, yeah, you can do it. If, if God's called you to do it, you can do it. Right um, so we're all guilty of it. Yeah. I mean, we all, and, so, yeah, and unfortunately, and she hit me with yeah. some truths yeah, about it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it made me step back and like yeah. reevaluate the situation. And because of that, I went at it even harder. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I got the things. And that's why support's it. important. Yeah. So you need to like, you need to have someone that you can talk to and say, hey, these are my goals. These are the things that I feel like God has for us. Right. As a matter of fact, read your word and let God tell you what he has for you. Word up. You and know? if you need somebody to talk to, I know this uh, dope coach um, uh -huh. over at Sick Life Coaching. She, yeah, me. Yeah, but... It does, you don't necessarily need a coach, although I'd love to help you. She but can you can. You. But you help need a like-minded believer that's not soft, right. that is going to sharpen you and tell you the truth. And when they see you believing a lie, letting you know. The lies are not so obvious. The right. lies are not so obvious. Remember that. They're not obvious. They're going to be lies that you will believe and you yeah. will run with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you really won't give second thought to it at all. You know what I mean? The lie, usually the lie is so part of a truth exactly and it's so subtle you know and so if you find yourself procrastinating there's usually a lie operating um you know if you find yourself feeling defeated like you can't do it the guy called you to do it there's a lie operating right. if you think there's a methodology in, in order for you to overcome there's usually a lie there you simply <coughs> just do it so wrestle yourself, be honest with yourself, but don't, we're not talking about beating yourself up. We're just talking no. about keeping it real. Right. And sometimes you may need to beat yourself up a little bit. No. To get you no. going to do it. Yeah, I mean, no. hey. You don't have to worry. You know about it. David had to beat himself up and encourage himself. No. He no. did. No, no. Don't don't be don't abuse yourself. That's what I'm he's not talking saying about. Abuse. He's talking about self abuse. So I'm not, not no, I'm abuse sorry. yourself. No, but no, it, no, okay, no, let, no, how no. about encourage yourself? Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Encourage yourself. Yeah. But don't 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 um. Don't think about, think don't about, pa stop patting yourself <laughs> on the back. Think about Rocky when he was talking with his son. Some people would say that was abuse how he was talking. No, to him. but it was an encouragement. No, you know what, what I'm mean? talking about is not saying, not patting yourself on the back and saying, "Oh, it's okay, yeah. you poor thing," and and giving yourself <coughs> like a, a thumbs up, like it's okay for you not to be successful. Yeah, I agree with that. No, I you should that. say to yourself, "Listen, 
you have a duty. Like God has promises for you. It's in the bank. You need to go to the bank and you need to collect. And sometimes you might get stuck in traffic. Sometimes you may get sick. But you still need to go to the bank and pick up whatever he has for you. Get it. Yeah. So listen, people, let's <laughs> overcome. Let's go. Let's like our enemy, our greatest enemy is not the not not the demons in hell, okay? No. Our greatest enemy sometimes is our thinking, our mindset. Uh, and sometimes we don't want to be uncomfortable. <clears throat> sometimes we want it easy. Listen. A lot of times we want it easy. Yeah. Israel, Israel didn't have it. You know, people say, well, they had it easy, but they didn't have it easy. God doesn't call us to easy. He calls us to do the impossible right. in and through him. So Israel, the, the promised land was theirs, but we see them getting stuck in the wilderness because it was hard. Right. We get to, we see them getting stuck in the wilderness because they just would rather go back to familiarity. Like there are places that God's calling us and we just need to get past all of the excuses. We need to get past thinking there's a way that we have to do it. And we just need a to... A certain way. Yeah, right. Stop it doing it that certain way. And right. There's no other way. Nah, because... No, no. 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 Like, we're raising six kids in a camper. Um, and homeschooling. And working businesses. And we've had to... And, 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 and Abba has called us to do all of that. Yeah. He's called us to do all of that. And, hey, we know from, from it's, it's been our own experience... Emma, I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah, or I can't I, I just can't focus today. I can't Word work up. today. No. If he calls you to do it, let's just be obedient. We're Word supposed up. to go after those promises. You got to tell my notification. Yes. So anything else? Yeah, um actually do your plug for Oh, um, so listen guys, I've been doing on my podcast Overcoming Daily, we've been talking about emotional challenges. I am going to be offering um this Wednesday at 7 o'clock, a free group coaching event where you can actually come. You, you, I'm going to put the link in the, in the thread, and you can actually schedule to attend. You get in there on the group, and you're able to come in. You're able to ask me any question about whatever it is. Is it anxiety? Is it relationship? Is it depression? Is it whatever your challenge is? And let's see. <clears throat> let's, let's just see. Let's see God show up. Yeah. And let's see him answer these questions and show us the way to overcoming so that we can finish 2020 excellent and already kick some demons' butts, kick our own mindsets, get our mindsets right, thinking, thinking and head into 2021 strong. Yes. Let's, let's be, some people like we stop running at, in December and then they start trying to sprint in, in January 1, yeah. 2021. No. Come, gonna, come January, yeah. I'm going to get it right. I'm going to do yeah, it. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, I'm doing start, it now. Let's start oh, picking wait. up our momentum and run. Juggernaut it. You know, when, when January comes, we're sprinting already. We don't need to get any momentum because we started a couple weeks back. So that's going to be on January. I'm sorry, January. December. December this Wednesday and the following Wednesday, you need to schedule. It's a Zoom. Listen, if you're uncomfortable asking questions, when you schedule the Zoom uh, session to, to attend with the group, there you'll be able to put in there what your question is. So if you just want to listen and glean, that's fine. And share the opportunity with other people. If they're wrestling with depression, they're wrestling with anxiety, fear, rejection, shame, they're feeling stuck, they're having self-esteem issues, let's bring, even marriage problems, Bring it to the bring it to the meeting bring and let's kill it. Let's kill it. Let's it kill it. Absolutely. Yep. So, so that's it. That's, that's what it. it is. So we hope that you guys will really look, you know take heed. Listen, we're learning right with you guys. Abba's been dealing with us. You know, like I was reading the book of Judges and I heard, and they're doing this again and the people just decided that they would just live with their enemies. <laughs> I mean, right. Israel just decided that they would live with their enemies, but that wasn't God's will. Plan. That wasn't his will for them. And so a lot of times we just live with our demons. We live with our challenges and we don't fully savor and taste the promises that Abba has for us. Yep. And so that's our goal for our life is like, no, we're going, we're going to take down whatever giant we need to take down. Right. We're going to change whatever mindset we need to change. We're going to push through the uncomfortable. Why? Because because God has promises for us, and we're going to get them, right? Yeah, that's right. Because that's what it Crazy. requires. That's what it requires. Get past wanting it to be easy, and just go get it. Stop wanting it to be it easy. Way, it's a time waster. No, it's a time it waster. Easy. It's a time waster. So, How will you ever learn if it's easy all the yeah. time? Yeah, and everybody's got an excuse. 
Yeah. Everybody's got excuses. excuses. Uh, like yeah, we know. Yeah. <laughs> then you stop me quick. <laughs> yes, we know, honey. Okay. Alrighty. So. So yeah. So, so so in the thread, tell us who your enemy is, or you can just say guilty, but no more. Okay, whatever you want. But you know, put it in the thread. Tell us about your. Tell us the things that you know. feel stuck in. Listen, we're not a stuck people. No. We don't, well, we don't have to be. Now, Israel got stuck in the wilderness, and many children of God get stuck in this life, and they never taste the promises in this life, and they have to wait for the kingdom to come. Yeah. And that's not his plan. That's not what he has, has, has for us. We're supposed to be living an overcomer life. Yes. An overcomer. He's more than a conqueror. We're in the battlefield. We're overcoming. Overcome. We're obeying. Get out your head. Yeah. Don't get stuck in yeah. it. Don't. Yeah, and, and maybe you don't know. Maybe you can't identify it. And if you can't book a free consultation with me, I help people identify something that's operating in their mind that keeps sabotaging. Because sometimes we have blind spots and we need somebody else to, sh- to help us fix our face. Right. So, all right. So it is what it is. That's what it is. Hallelujah. So yeah. Drop your comment in the post. And as usual, that comment will go into the drawing for a free shirt. Yeah. Um, yeah, so anything else to add? No, we hope you'll join us. Yeah, hope, jo- hope you join us for the Zoom call. We hope that you guys will let us know what your enemy, who, who your enemy is. Um, but remember, the most lethal enemy is the one within, it is yeah. a mindset. And you know, we have to wrestle, we have to wrestle, yeah, until every part of us glorifies God. So, hallelujah. So until next time, live life sacred. Peace. Shalom.